Sent to me by Review and Under the Influence. In an aluminum bottle, the full sleeve strong stout at 5.5% alcohol by volume. It's out of Penticton, British Columbia from the Bad Tattooing Brewing Company. Dark side of good, Penticton, BC. So feeling kind of shitty, so I'm glad that I have a stout on hand. So thanks to Jordan for that, because if I'm feeling shitty, stout's the beer I want to drink, especially around 5.5% alcohol by volume. So let's give this one a pour, you know what I'm saying? smelling stout kind of Guinness like a little more coffee to it a little more uh, espresso a little more chocolate there's a co2 effervescence coming up the aroma nice fluffy head on it black as hell all right just taste this shit you know what I'm saying Mm. Wow. A little bit of a tanginess to it. Maybe from a little bit of a, like the sooty grains, you know? Oh yeah, just tasting the soot. It's not overcharred, like some stouts are just like, oh, on the char. It's not to the realm where you're drinking charcoal. It's definitely got some black soot to it though. Great, yeah, just a nice chocolatey aroma. Almost like a cherry. A little bit of a cherry vibe to it. And I don't know about much about these aluminum bottles. I don't know if that does anything to the taste. I imagine that this is lined. I don't know if the aluminum will come through in the taste much on these, but I mean... The bottle doesn't really smell aluminum... I'm not really picking up a lot of aluminum just off whiffing the bottle there, but so it's a really cool bottle. You know, I'm surprised that they're making these aluminum bottles. You think that, that would be quite expensive to make something like that? It's got a really good aroma. I mean, you're really picking up a lot of aroma off this stout. I'd say for a 5.5, it's definitely above average on the aroma. Um, a nice cool watery but yet creamy mouthfeel to the beer um, this is a slightly above average like 5.5 stout I'd say it's definitely most crap breweries just their stout blah, you know this is like a little bit a little bit nicer than most a great mouthfeel of the beer it's got kind of an interesting, rich, like cherry type, slight bit of tang to it. This kind of uh, making it a bit more complex than you would imagine. This is just, this is a nice stout, and I like stouts because they, if you're if you're feeling shitty, they can kind of pick you up. They calm your stomach, make you feel good. It's a great beer if you're feeling shitty. It's an above average on the aroma too. You're picking up a lot more aroma than than the usual. But there, there is something in a slightly different. A lot of like the charred barley kind of a tanginess to it. It's, it's about the right amount of carbonation. It, it looks low carb, low carb head, but it does have a bit of bit of fizz in it. 
So, they give you a whole spiel on here. A touch of extra ABV to add balance. Well, that's 5.5, I guess that's a little above. For that, I, if I brew a stout, I usually go for 6%, but most of, yeah, a lot of them are around four and a half that you're buying. So yeah, I just really like the bottle. That's fucking, I got a logo there with a hop cone on the back. You kind of see that there. You got their information here somewhere. Their website, www.badtattoobrewing.com. They're on Facebook and uh, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's sitting that's Twitter. Yeah, just loving that aroma. That's very rich. Just, just, just rich dark chocolate mostly in the in the aroma and the flavor. A little bit of espresso. All right, sort of a typical non-typical uh, stout. I'm uh, enjoying it immensely. This is fucking solid beer. That's a rate. It would be I don't know, about a nine out of eleven for me. It's pretty solid. Nothing, nothing too flashy. Whatever. Uh, it's pretty much picture perfect. A little bit heavy on the carbonation. Is the only thing I would even complain about at all. It's a little bit too fizzy for me for a stout, but like they have a little carb head on there. So I just you just dial back the CO2 and you got yourself fucking. But it has such a nice creamy smooth mouthfeel too. Even even with that. Uh, maybe if it flattened out, maybe that would be too flat kind of thing. I don't know. I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 11. Yeah, definitely a nice drinkable stout. Um, definitely keep some stout on hand. Fucking keep shit fucking good. No sand. And I'm out. Yeah.